Well, when thinking about today's assignment, I realized that I've had a lot of very meaningful educational experiences in my time. I've had a lot of really good instructors and professors, both in high school and in college. But I think the event that really sticks out in my mind is when I signed up for an engineering contest sometime when I was in the ninth or 10th grade. The object of the contest was to construct a device which would launch a ping pong ball at a target roughly six inches in diameter at a distance of about 12 or maybe 15 feet. And the device had to be powered by a mousetrap. I actually happen to have some footage <clears throat> taken by my friend's video camera in 1984, 1985 of me shooting off a ping pong ball with the device that I constructed. So let's check it out. Oklahoma City and Complex, which I'll be participating in. I have designed it so it comes in two separate parts for better storage and transportation and handling. Now, take the barrel and its carriage. Ball, in the barrel, pull the barrel back, make sure the firing pin is in the correct position, set your trap, never try this at home without adult supervision. Close your trap, and you're ready to fire. Ready, Ryan? Ready. Woo, folks, how about now? This whole experience was a lot of fun for me which is probably why it was so memorable to me. And I think that there are three really important lessons that in the end I walked away with. And the first of these is that learning can be fun. It should be fun, especially when students are allowed to get their hands as well as their minds involved in something. I think this can lead to not only a more meaningful learning process in general, but maybe a deeper sense of learner engagement. And the second of these is that learning is often best achieved when using multiple methods. Of course, I'm referring to the different learning styles such as visual and audible and kinesthetic, but I'm also referring to the important dynamics that come from a group learning environment as well as an individual setting. And finally is the fact that mistakes are a very important part of our learning process. In fact, they can be critical to our eventual success. I find that students today often equate failure with making a mistake, and that I have to help them distinctualize between the two concepts. Often I do this by quoting to them very famous and successful people, people like Michael Jordan, who said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Or people like Albert Einstein, who said that anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. In the end, I think learning is what we make of it. I know it is for me. Thanks for listening.